since she gone. It was the estate agent. And that is the last piece of furniture from the house. She's coming back. Now I'll be done in five minutes. Five minutes. So in the middle of the action, this was the last item uh, that was sitting in the house actually. And we are totally moved out. I've just given the keys to the agent, meaning we are free, finally. Oh my God, if you want to move a house, honestly, do hire someone because it's actually absolute hell to do that on your own. But this is finally done. We're gonna be able to relax. And actually we have today one farewell to do. Uh, which is one of Kate's brother and he calls himself Uncle Bonk. It's a bit of a wildling. He lives in a forest, actually in a national park, in the middle of the eucalyptus uh, giant trees. And we're going to visit him. Uh, apparently he's going to put on a little barbecue, show us some uh, wine that he's making. And there's even a forest garden. So let's take the car and go. This is actually living remote. I think like an explorer here. Let's go in the house with the guests. Oh, let's go in. Whoa. I can see the garden already. And here we are guys. We arrived in uh, Mount Daniel or Olinda. Huh? And this is Daniel here. That's guy's brother. And as you can see Hello. behind me, amazing uh, scenery. This is actually one hour from Melbourne in the city and uh, Daniel decided to live here. Uh, so why did you decide to go to the city? Um, yeah. um, the setting is what uh, drew um, my wife and I and kids. Yeah. So we've got four four kids and um, a great place to grow up. I mean, that's it's amazing. That's you your backyard is the national park. So, yeah. you know, fires are a bit of a problem or can be, but um, other than that, it's a... Uh, and I can see you're gonna fix up also some uh, little barbecue things. Yes, in Australia. so this is just, Entree here, meat, yeah. which is calamari or squid. So okay. salt and pepper squid with olive oil, which we'll have on a bed of salad and um, balsamic, yeah. balsamic vinegar. Mm. So that should be nice acidity cut through. Of course, we've got wine as well. Yes, nice reasoning. And he's a winemaker, by the way, guys. He's not just you know living uh -huh. here. He's also making wine. So later on, he's going to show us his latest label. Yep. But uh, yeah, so I guess we're all ready for the barbecue. It's just the intro. Look at the scenery. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to make up some food and uh, I'll see the rest later. Now, today the good thing is that I am not cooking, because Daniel is, so what do we start with? What the calamari? Calamari, yeah, over there, so oh yes. The idea here yeah. um, is to get the barbecue as hot as possible. A yep. short, quick time, try and charcoal the, uh, the uh, calamari and let it rest, and hopefully in five minutes we'll be eating it, so. Okay. Got a bit of flame, which is good. Yeah. So try and get both sides done. Bit of juice on there. Okay, so that's when we know it's done. Oh, so it's a bit quick, brownish quick there. Turn. Yep. Okay. We've got some a slight bit of colour. Yeah. Um, and now we enjoy. Alright, so start already. Bit of salad from the garden, calamaris, and we, we put a little drizzle of a bit of uh, balsamic. Perfect. Alright, so next is some homemade burgers. I'm just doing a quick film here. And Daniel, yeah, back on the barbecue, so ready yeah. to cook? Ready to cook. Let's go. Homemade burgers, so the parsley from the garden, yeah. onions, just mm. some uh, minced uh, meat, obviously egg for yeah. my chickens to uh, bound everything together, some breadcrumbs to fill yeah, it bread out. Crumbs, yeah. Okay, let's put them on the barbecue. Yeah. So we're just going to feed the chickens. Um, get some eggs? And get some eggs. Okay, let's go. It's on the pan. <laughs> okay, have so they're gonna take us on the ride <laughs> if I don't get hey, wait for me uh -oh. what are you doing there oh is that the chicken feet do you think you can pick one up so are they friendly the chicken yeah, pick, pick one up Sammy oh my god can I ah do they have names or yeah, this is brownie brownie uh -huh. hello oh pretty 
Pretty nice. So this is where you get your eggs from. All right, so let's put it down and grab some eggs and see. Show me how the how you get this organic. Oh my God! Look, look, they're totally hungry. Is it in here? Yeah, yep, it's in here. Well, it's in this one. Oh, yeah, there they are. So here are the eggs. And you put them in. Oh, okay. So how many times a day do you collect these? Um, maybe once. Once or twice. Probably twice. Let me show the show me the basket where you put the eggs. Where we put Oh, you put a lot of them. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of them there. Yeah. yeah. So these are all of the eggs what we collected. Okay. There's one more left. Oh, one more left. Now this is really, guys, outdoor cooking. Look at this scenery, <laughs> the barbecue. It's the middle of the rainforest. All right, look at that. So it looks about ready now. Look at this nice not color. Not too far away. Not too far. Yes, no. When you hear that yeah, I like when they, I like this kind of brown like that. Yeah, you hear that sizzle. Yeah, yeah. when you see all the, the juices come out. Yeah, yeah, it's not far off. Okay, so let's build a burger. That's how you build a. The burger. And there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Much better than your McDonald's or anything yeah, like that. all fresh. So I guess now we're ready to uh, dig in. Ready to eat. So as promised, uh, I did say that Daniel was a winemaker, and actually he made his first batch of wine, first uh, first attempt. That, so is, that is all mine, which is every decision through the process. Uh, and this is the the label, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So let me try to bring it a bit closer. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera. Uh, nice label, by the way. Um, bird series. So every year, I, I, I'm going to have a, a different bird on the label. Native Australian Australian bird. It's a basket press Shiraz from a place called Sunbury. It's it's been aged in um, oak barrels, not this one, of course, but in a combination of new and, and older oak. Yeah. Um, and it only just came out of barrels uh, yeah, a couple of weeks ago and in, into the bottle. Well, let, uh, so this is your first. You've tasted well, it along the journey, but yeah, this is your, yeah, but. Uh, your first uh, taste. Brought in, a... brought in, we'll see. Uh, just have a little taste this year, have an idea. So it's a cool climate, Australia. Okay. So, so a cool climate would be a bit like, yeah. Well, Melbourne, Melbourne even though it's quite hot at the moment, Melbourne is technically a cool climate for uh, uh, wine, wine growing. It's, it's a bit peppery. Like yeah, very spicy. So like very I said, spicy northern, and peppery, yeah. northern rose. So it should be sort of rose petals and mm. raspberries and dark fruits. And I'm mean, happy with the colour, happy with the flavour. It is it is young. That's just the, the nature of the beast. Yeah. But it's... um. Should be on the, drinking. Should yeah. be on the, the elegant side of the drink, yeah, of um, Shiraz or Syrah style. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much for that uh, tasting. And uh, I guess the last step, guys. No, thank you. Garden time, because Daniel also has got an amazing uh, forest garden. So we've seen a city garden, and now let's go for <laughs> the forest garden. Mm. Take our wine with us. <laughs> So now the final garden tour. So Daniel is going to take us through his own garden uh, and he's going to pick some things apparently, harvest. So let's go. Let's have a look. Okay. Well, this is the, my herb section with some chilies. And I was quite surprised. I came out this morning and I've actually got some red chilies. Which is always a good feeling oh. when things are ripe. Okay. Mint, that's marjoram, got some oregano. That's a lovely kind of sculpture there. Yeah. Obviously the nets to stop the birds and my chickens that sometimes come into the backyard when they're not meant to. But there's some jalapenos. I love pickling jalapenos. So just a bit of uh, vinegar, oh. salt and water. That's all you need in a jar. And after a couple of weeks, or well, especially home, homegrown, they're just crispy and fresh, beautiful. Look nice and healthy there. Some lettuce, which we had on the plate before. This is a lovely um, cucumbers here, which are, that one's ready to go. Mm. Here we've got some, some eggplant. So it's a different uh, variety, and again, I think it might be Lebanese. Okay. Eggplant. So it grows longer and skinnier. Beautiful, beautiful, fresh. Yeah, nice flavors there. Yeah, my basil. Love basil with tomatoes. Yeah. So this is uh, celery. Oh, yeah. It's been a quite a hot summer, so you see a bit of bear, but that's fine. So yeah, that's nice. Yeah, especially nice, nice mulch as well. Yeah, yeah. This and that's just home and... growing. You just all you got to do like that, and yeah. it's just on you. You can really smell how fresh it is. And next to that, you got another plant here that looks familiar. And it's zucchinis. Zucchini. Zucchini. Little one. Oh ah, yeah. So yeah, they grow. Maybe need a lot yeah, of space. A bit early, maybe for this. For and I can see you've got. 
Is that a bird buff you've got it's here? An old wine barrel, but yes, it is a. I use it, use it as a uh, bird buff. No, the bird buff needs a refill, and uh, I think we've got a candidate here. So this is one of the this task in the forest. Close. It's actually less, less than 13. <laughs> Come on, James, put some water in. Not too much, not too much. So all the water goes in the bird bath. Huh? Yeah, that's enough, Sammy. Very nice. It's called the sauce maker. Yeah, this looks like good large tomatoes. Beautiful. Mm. So a couple more days inside. Yeah. Uh, they'll just be nice and red and so tasty. Ah, yeah. let, let me... Uh, these are the proper cherry tomatoes, right? So now uh, you want to show me the native Australian plants? Yeah, so this is a, a Banksia. Check the flower. This is, yeah, the, what's the beginning of a flower? And that'll grow maybe that, that size in probably two or three months from now. Yeah. The birds from the forest love it. So the idea is to bring the birds from the forest, from the national park in, into your garden. So here we got another Australian native. It's a Grevillea. Yeah. So the whole idea is the, the honey is stick their tongue in there. Yeah. Pollinates, so that sort of puts the pollen on their beaks so when they go to the next next plant. But also there's nectar inside there and sometimes if it's full of nectar, you can squeeze it and you can see the nectar come out. See you guys, bye bye.